You may be aware that when you buy real estate, you're generally liable to pay stamp duty on that purchase. What many people don't consider, however, is that when they separate from a de facto partner or spouse, and as a part of the property settlement are required to transfer property, this will also attract stamp duty without court orders or a binding financial agreement. Provided you are able to prove that you have been in a registered relationship or in a de facto relationship for two years or more, or that you were legally married, you and your ex-spouse can have two options. Number one, make an application to the Family Law Court for consent orders, acknowledging the agreement in relation to the property split. Court orders or financial agreements must be made under the provisions of the Family Law Act as applicable. Number two, enter into a binding financial agreement. The original document must be shown to the Office of State Revenue when applying for the exemption of duty. You will need your lawyer to draft the application and consent orders and both parties will need independent legal advice. Both parties are also required by law to obtain independent legal advice before entering into a binding financial agreement, otherwise it will not be binding. It is often the case that the amount of stamp duty that is saved by obtaining the orders or entering into binding financial agreements far outweighs the legal fees and court fees involved. But in any event, before proceeding, request that your lawyer do these calculations for you so that you can make an informed decision about the best path to choose. The property can be transferred from joint names to one party's name or from one party's name to the other party's name. Each of these transfers would ordinarily attract duty exemption. If you have recently separated and are seeking to transfer a property and therefore obtain the stamp duty exemption, please get in touch with us for guidance in this regard.